is a new series on power cell research. I'm trying to come up with a good capacitance design. Now, I wanted to go over some of these. This is a graphene aluminum uh, using phosphoric acid. And you can see here, um, it's doing pretty good. Now, it'll drop down to about 1.5. It'll stabilize for a while, and if I leave it, it will completely dissipate over time but it is not sealed in a airtight container this is to keep the acid from getting everywhere so um, right now this design does work I'm working on a better design uh, I was also experimenting with gels now these little cells here this is uh, copper and aluminum using uh, felt as the barrier which you can see here what I'm doing I use a felt as a barrier it's a little better than a paper towel the paper towel can uh, be punctured easy and you know you're dealing with some cases you're dealing with acids so it's not gonna last with a paper towel you need something a little more durable and with this type of felt that's what I'm getting here is that ability these gel cells they charge they dissipate really quick it has potential and what I have to do is either vacuum seal this in a way that's gonna keep the energy from bleeding off and you've seen like in a normal capacitor it's got uh, mineral oil in it and the mineral oil basically it's vacuumed and the mineral oil to remove all the air and then the mineral oil is containing the charge inside of the plates which are submerged in the mineral oil so they're not exposed to air or these they depending on how well they're sealed how long it takes it to dissipate this aluminum with gel that's with acid making a lot of cells right now to say the least one of the other types of cells you want to look at here this is aluminum plates I'm cutting them and then I can punch a hole through these and put a spacer and just bolt these together and that would give me the cell and one of the things I did here is I took some old batteries I had that were working and I cut them apart and removed all the material out of them so I could use them to build my cells and test them my goal is to make something large enough to power a house so or a car I'm not looking to make something thin and small that can easily be damaged with amperage I'm trying to make something substantial enough to carry a large load this is a grid system I'm working on this graphene is kind of expensive I'm doing experiments using granulated activated carbon and because if you're using a gel it's not locked into that like a polyurethane it's not locked into that surface so by increasing the surface area what I'm doing is I'm using fine ground activated carbon and I'm using skin moisturizer now this stuff works it works great and sorry I've covered a logo it's a trademark so I can't really show you it's a Kroger's product I'm in the States so you can find it you're looking for some type of moisturizer or a product for sunburn so this is a moisturizer with aloe and it has in it distilled alcohol and that could be a problem if it starts to heat up alcohol is flammable so you have to think about these things when you're building these test cells you never want to walk away from anything and leave it for that fear that something could catch on fire but basically the, the ingredients that are working in this thing is a glycerin also has urea in it you want to experiment with different types of gels and because the activated carbon is mixed easily mixed into a gel like this you're able to make a large surface area which is the goal I'm gonna be putting these cells together uh, I've already in the test cells and this will probably be three independent cells with each cell having eight plates in it uh, using the aloe because this is a green cell activated carbon 
and some of this aloe and copper and aluminum, there aren't any dangerous chemicals in this. It's pretty easy to build and safe to experiment with. All right, we're gonna put one of these cells together and uh, see where how that works. So what this is is fine ground activated carbon. And I mean it's ground really fine. It's not uh, chunky like you might have seen in some other videos. And uh, add some of this gel, which is skin moisturizer gel. We're going to be re re recreating something similar to this. Um, so we know the exact ingredients and the proportions, but for now, we're going to use that. It takes quite a bit. I put a lot of that powder in there. You want to make sure you get that mixed really well into that. And you can see the difference here. That's well mixed and that's that's just on the surface of it. So it changes colors when you got it mixed properly. it down in that screen you, you don't want to want it to be sticking up too much above that and try to contain it within that screen because as you can see here you don't have a lot of border and if that sticks over and touches from the other side then it will be a short so what I've been trying to do is keep it on the mat on the screen mesh and Embed it down in the mesh. So which is not that easy to do. Okay, that looks like that's pretty good. Then we're going to take one of these and we're going to saturate it with the gel without the solution. This stuff is completely safe. Do the same thing on this side. That should be avoided. Okay, now do the same thing here. We're gonna add this. I'm gonna put a little weight on it because it's not actually being uh, sealed yet. So, all right, now we'll check this real quick because it drops really fast without being insulated. So there you can see that's uh, 1.4 and you can see how fast it drops. That's the next problem that has to be solved. I'm going to put the rest of this cell together. You guys, I showed you this part of it. So that ought to give you enough to get going on the gel cell. Yeah, that's 
that's about all it can get in there. So. All right, I haven't put a charge on it. Took a little bit to get it sorted, but I just clamped leads together. So this has six plates, three copper, three aluminum, and without a charge, it's 0.41, so 400 milliamps without even a charge. So, but what I want to try here is, uh, I want to vacuum seal this, I want to try that. But what I'm going to do is put mineral oil on top of that and even though it won't be vacuumed it will be sealed in a way that uh, a similar uh, capacitors are but you probably need to vacuum out all the air out of that cell to keep it from losing current we're gonna find that out right now so first put a little charge on that and take up the voltage here. It's taking a lot of current because it's sizzling a little bit. Okay. There we go. You can see it's dropping, so, but it is taking a charge. Not too much because the voltage drop is, it's, it's not that great. So I think it's about 1.6, 11.6 volts the, the cell is. So we're getting a 300 milliamp drop. So let's see. There you go, so 2.4. Now let's see if adding some mineral oil, this is just um, mineral oil from Kroger's. It's, it's, in the, it's used as a laxative, but it's pure mineral oil. So it's the same kind of oil they would use in a, a normal capacitor here. I'm gonna put it in the cell just to fill the cell up. And it is dropping still, but it's going to bubble for a little bit and release the air out of that cell. So it might take a bit. That might help force any air out of it. You can see a bubble in there. It's releasing the oxygen out of it. And it's definitely dropping slower than it was. So, you know, it, it might take a bit for the cell to actually um, rid all the air out of the cell here. Of course, I'm dumping 11 volts into a cell that should only be two volts probably max so it's a durable little sucker anyway 2.4 and then it's dropping re relatively quickly and we'll see slows down I'm going to have to test it. I'll have to load test it and figure out how many millivolts I'm able to pull out of it. And uh, I'll be doing more videos on testing this cell. I think I'm just going to use the mineral oil because it looks like the air is working its way out of the cell. Uh, and the drop is slowed, slowed down. If I get one volt out of it, I'd be happy. 
really is going to take some time here. So in the next video here, I'll show the results of this cell uh, with the mineral, mineral oil on top of it to basically act as a, a, an air barrier from the cell.